The information presented in this video is for high level awareness only. This is not intended to serve as training. Stratus configuration remains under development. Any features shown in this video are subject to change. Today we will discuss account coding. There will be two steps involved in coding and approving invoices. The first step is called account coding, and this is the step in which you will tell the system and the accounts payable team where the invoice should be charged. When an invoice is sent to you for account coding, you will receive an email that looks like this. You will also receive a notification within the Stratus application through the notification bell. When you click the here link from the email or the link through the notification bell within Stratus, you will be taken to a page that looks like this. To see the image of the invoice, click view invoice. A new window within the application opens, allowing you to click on the attachment that contains the image of the invoice. When you are ready to add the account coding to the invoice, you will need to click on Actions and select Edit Distributions from the page display here. There are other options also available on this page. For example, this is one of the places you have the option to add comments and additional documentation to the invoice within the system or you can reject the invoice if it does not belong to your department. For now, let's add the account coding to this invoice, so select Edit Distributions. When adding the account coding or chart field distributions to the invoice, you should verify the invoice header information such as the invoice number and the amount and the supplier name match what is on the image of the invoice. To add the account coding to the invoice, click on the plus button under line 1, Distributions. Then you can add multiple lines if the dollar amount needs to be split among multiple distributions. To continue editing the distribution line and add the account coding, add the dollar amount for the first line and then click the magnifying glass icon next to the distribution combination field. You can use the drop down in the alias box to find the department to which the expense should be charged to, or if you know the values of the fields, you can type them in directly. You can also use the drop down in the account field to select the account or it can be directly typed into the field. When finished, click OK. Once you are finished adding the account coding to the invoice, click Save and Close in the upper right hand corner. You will be taken back to the page displayed here, and the Complete button will now be available to click on. Once you click Complete, you will have the option to add additional comments or attachments. Click Submit. When the invoice is submitted with the account coding, the invoice is then picked up by the system to move into the approval workflow. The invoice will then need to be approved by those assigned to approve invoices. For more information, please visit our website, towson.edu stratus.